Okay. Let's grime this Queen's Tower right off with the power blade we've just gained. This would be the step of Ormaz. Go. So yeah, you're gonna need to do some dodging. So that was an easy one. There's another one on the right. Alright, that little lockup came at a really, really bad time. Games are good at that. Take a left right now, or just, just keep watching the tentacles. Um, if you see them going down, just take that path and you'll be fine. There are some sequences that can be a bit frustrating since this is one go all the way. Some tentacles tend to appear when you don't want them to. And it comes in possible dodge, which I've had uh, a few times actually during the recording of this uh, section. And it's frustrating. It really is, and it happened right here. So just stick to the edges as much as you can to avoid by getting grabbed by these bastards. And there he is, waiting for us. One of these doors will always open. Seems to be a bit random. Remember. Gonna do it the cutscene way. Seems to work best. Like he knows what I want him to do. There we go, one push was enough this time. Remember, I think Elka's combos are the best to push him back. And that was it. Since we're done so quickly, we're gonna collect light seeds all in one episode. We've gotten some things out since there's a lot of navigation right here. Just heal these grounds. <laughs> Skip any unnecessary cutscenes. Alright, let's scrap these light seeds. And. Well, it's a long way down. There are light seeds here along the way.
Let's head down here. Let's head straight back up. Sequence is obviously uh, unchanged. Naturally, there are a couple around here. So don't forget to pick those up. Now we should need to check something because I wasn't really sure. Yep, there's some shackles again here. Two additional light seeds. There, let's check the other one. There's no other side, so let's just head up to 